the overall best graduating student has a CGPA of 3.9. He read Bachelor of Education Science. He is the same person who won the Hall Master's Award for the best graduating student of Kisley Hayford. And he is the same person who is winning the Chancellor's Prize for overall best graduating student, Mr. Isaac Mensah. everyone greetings to you all my people and i hope you are doing wonderful <laughs> i have to go back to cape coast quickly i mean maybe one last time because i got myself into this i did not know that i didn't know that if i do a video of a particular hall of a university i am supposed to do the arrival hall so i didn't know about this rivalry thing and all that so i'm not regretting anyways and I, I got to find out when i did the first video katanga right after katanga i was warned i was ordered to go back to knust if i know what is good for me to go do the arrival hall which is unity hall anyways i thought that was all after that i went to like gone i did the vandas no one came to order me i thought that was cool so i wanted to go to cape coast quickly and do another haul which happened to be atlantic haul but after doing that video and posting that video guys my life have not remained the same <laughs> anyways in a, in a positive and fun way anyway so the fun thing is is nothing to be worried about but i was told that Atlantic Hall has a rival hall in the same uni and that means I have to play the game by the rules and that means me having to deliver the other hall too. I was questioned. I was like, I'm in an interrogation room as if I was under some interrogation. I was asked, Lily, why do you think, why, why did you do Atlantic Hall? I said nothing. I just saw them in school and I decided to do it. They said, no, that's not how things are done. How dare you? I apologize and promised that I was going to deliver. And here I am with this gentleman of Casford Hall. So let's pay them a visit, get to meet the handsome gentleman. Castle Hayford Hall, the dream hall of most guys. This beautiful hall is the only male hall in the University of Cape Coast. It was established in 1967. The hall is located at the North Campus. It is a walking distance to the North Campus gate. It is divided into two blocks, A and B, with about 315 rooms and can accommodate up to about 800 students. Affiliates of Casford go by different names, such as Casfordians or Fellows. The use of red is their traditional color. They put on red in remembrance of Castle Hayford on 1930 during his burial. His coffin was wrapped in red and all his family members used red throughout the funeral rites. Casfordians are also well known for good moral sense in the university. They strongly hold on to the spirit of solidarity. They go by the motto, truth and courage. In addition, if you are a lady, you are not supposed to pass in front of their hall with a red outfit. I don't know the reason. I am yet to find out. It's 
is the lifeblood of this community, the great empire. This is where the gentlemen of this university are bred. As our godfather, the Supreme from KC Ford, was a journalist, was an educator, was a lawyer. So as the son of him, we've taken same from him. Our Sabrin, and then one thing that we can boast of as Casfodians as we live in solidarity. Actually, we are going to give you nothing but the best. We are here to give you the Sabrin. In terms of debate, no wahala. We are one. We are the current champions. But it's all about competition between Casfodians and all other hub. We are the true gentlemen of this land. And as Casfodians, we believe in unity. And unity is strength. So this international debate, watch us for Casford. We are here. We're going to take it. That's why we are the brave army. And we are the super powers. And as you can see, we are poised for this competition. And we are already prepared. And we're taking you guys by surprise. Alright, so if you look at the doing the listening wherever you are, this is the great case we here for them, and this is Casper TV. Alright, so for some months now, because of the last expose and Christina and Tichis on Ravlin, we've had problems with our football in Ghana and also the Ghana Black Stars. Today, the Ghana Black Stars will be joining us in the great case we here for Paul to solicit our support for tomorrow's qualifier against the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. So in no time, they will be joining us. But this video is just to show you that Casper is always in solidarity. With all fellow Casfodians, uh, we are very happy this evening. All of us are, are gathered just because of uh, one, one thing. We are here to welcome our senior players. Uh, so, what you are seeing is that all Casfodians, those in the hall, those in the diaspora, everybody is here to welcome them in a grand style. We expect nothing but the best. We pray that whatever game that is ahead of them, they will win so that together Ghana can continue to be great. Of course, you can see everybody, our boys are fully charged, all the guys are ever ready. Uh, we have affiliates of Nkoma, uh, Valko, uh, KNH, all of them are here to support us. So it's nothing but home support. We pray and then we wish our Black Stars the very best in their game tomorrow.
truth is i'm not gonna lie that these guys look handsome okay but i don't think they are gentle i mean how is their relics is this something i know <laughs> you know what i love about this school hall thing i just play around the i just 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 swim in the whole of the songs they are doing everything they are doing just like a child you know because i don't know what they are saying so that helped me just enjoy the whole process without feeling bad so whatever you hear here just bear in mind that i really did not hear i heard but i don't understand so that is as good as i did not hear but all i know is i enjoyed the whole display but let us be frank here are these guys really gentle <laughs> apart from the fact that they look handsome i don't think they are gentle mm? they are not these guys are not gentle i mean are gentle guys like this <laughs> Cape Coast Uni, I felt like, okay, if I get a chance, I'll go to this school, I'll this. Now, I would like you to look at me and match me with a hall in Cape Coast Uni. Which one do you think is best for me? I would like to know, is it Casford or Atlantic or Nkrumah or all of the other halls? I'm seeing the other halls, they are looking, let me not see. <laughs> Thinking about my personality, I don't know. But you know me, a lot of you that have been on this channel for quite a while, you can tell which of the halls will match my personality. You know, the no-nonsense person, that lady that not agree, Lily with no-nonsense. So which of the halls do you think will accept and cherish and love me for who I am? I am reading the comments, so don't forget to comment down below. As we go back to the uni to see what these gentlemen have got to offer us.
honorable members. May the good purpose of the Lord be fulfilled in the house. I propose that the third parliament of J.E. Kisit Hayford Hall be dissolved. Thank you. With my great honor to second that the third parliamentary council of Kisit Hayford Hall be dissolved. This I duly submit. Thank you. Deep it necessary that Honorable John Ajet Nassam be the Speaker of the Fourth Parliament of J.E. Kings Hayford Hall. Mr. Speaker, I humbly submit. Third to second, that the motion that Honorable John Ajet Nassam take the chair as Speaker of the Great Kings Hayford Hall. I hereby declare Honorable Ajet Nassam duly elected to be taking the chair of the House as Speaker. From today, exactly 4.50, so the Speaker leaves office. The Speaker shall now be referred to as Right Honorable Speaker Ajet Nassam. I, John Ajet Nassam, accept to be the Speaker of the Fourth Parliamentary Council of KCA for Paul. Thank you. able to bring a video of the alumni i want to believe i'm able to because i had to start filming before going back to see if i can find the alumni video but if i cannot find just bear it in mind that i tried didn't see so anyways i hope that you did enjoy it now that you guys have seen you can judge for yourself do you think these guys are gentle enough as they claim they said they are the only gentlemen in the school and for me because i've not lived there i wouldn't know but you know better than me i would like to know if you are in agreement <laughs> 
if, if you are in agreement with them or not so i'll be reading the comments but i hope that you did enjoyed this video and i will see you in another school ciao